for families impacted by Ian, we often think about rebuilding first, finding people shelter, clearing debris when it comes to these storms. But when a storm hit, it also impacts where you get your food. Extra expenses, they add up quickly. On your side, Leah Shields has the details on the emergency assistance people can apply for today. Good morning. St. John's and Flagler counties can now pre-register for D-SNAP benefits. So you may recognize the word SNAP. That's like the food stamp program. That's what we used to call it. D stands for disaster. So what this program is going to do, help fill people's fridges who might be having some financial difficulties after Ian. Because it's important that all the families, as they clean up, that they can also still provide the nutrition that their families need. So again, pre-registering today is step one. There's also going to be an interview process. That's going to be either by phone or in person, though Department of Children and Families does prefer phone. They want to move this process through quickly because this is going to be open for all disaster counties counties on a rolling basis. Uh, Putnam County, you're also going to be included in this as well, but your pre-registration will begin next week. Again, there are some eligibility requirements as well, some financial eligibility, as well as making sure that you can prove that you were impacted by Ian, because all of this is for Ian uh, recovery, whether it was a hurricane in Southwest Florida or how we got hit up here by a tropical storm. There are people who need that extra help right now. So again, pre-registration opens today. That link will be at firstcoastnews.com, and it is gonna take a little bit of a process, but they're hoping to get this moving along quickly and get you benefits. What the those benefits will look like sort of an EBT debit card that you'll be able to use at stores. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.